Hello everyone, my name is Renault. I work at NVIDIA. My Twitter handle is Renault was taken. Um, today I'm going to talk about managing drivers with Kubernetes. Small note, this is about Linux drivers. Let's start with the simple, uh, with, with the basics. What, why do you need drivers? Drivers help enable new workloads and save costs, whether it be performance, money, or otherwise. If we take three examples, the first one would be virtualization. It allows you to use virtual machines, improve uh, your security, and run multiple untrusted workloads on the same machine, hence save on costs. Um, RDMA over converged Ethernet, Rocky, allows you, allows you to have faster data transfer across your nodes in your data center, for example. Um, this enables high-speed application. And if your application is faster, you don't need to invest in hardware to make it faster. Last one, of course, NVIDIA drivers allow you to use NVIDIA GPUs. And this allows you to run compute-intensive workloads, such as deep learning applications, that would not be possible on CPUs. What's a driver? Um, if we look a bit at uh, the anatomy of a driver or a program using a driver, for example, a deep learning inference application, um, if we use um, that deep learning application is going to want to try and allocate memory on the GPU, calling a function called CUDAMALC, which is in the user land library. And that user land library will then make a syscall to the device kernel module. That device driver is the library plus the kernel module. Drivers are usually installed through package managers. They need to be compiled against your current kernel version. And they also need to be recompiled when your kernel changes, something that can be automatically done using DKMS, uh, dynamic kernel uh, module support, uh, which will automatically recompile your kernel modules. How do we do drivers in Kubernetes? Um, people will usually try the simplest or the most intuitive way. They will deploy your, their Kubernetes and then SSH onto the nodes, whether it be through a simple shell script or through th something like Ansible Chef Puppet. Why do they do that? Because it's traditional, it's well known, and it's reliable. But it also means that you somewhat have a second control plane compared to Kubernetes. It's hard to reuse your existing infrastructure and is really error prone, especially when you want to do driver upgrades. Also, it requires a lot of work. So another intuitive way is to actually load your driver as part of your base image. If you're running in AWS, it means that your node is going to start up with the driver already integrated as part of your node. Um, and that's also something that is very intuitive and easy to reason about. It's also a super simple uh, security model. It's, it's in the AMI, and the AMI never changes. But also, it's, very, uh, it's, it's a lot less flexible. This is what we had before containers. Um, you had a like, HPC cluster, for example. Everyone had the same version all across. And to upgrade to the next version, it required a lot of work. It's also super cloud specific, and upgrades can be uh, very difficult. So we propose to use containers for managing and delivering drivers. Um, the idea is to have a container per node in a trusted namespace. What's a driver container? It compiles your driver. It traps on exit. It loads your driver. It writes the kernel updates hook, and then it just sleeps. Why? Upgrades. Upgrades are super hard to, ma to manage in uh, outside of Kubernetes. And Kubernetes provides you semantics that are super important to help you manage that. Operators can then be built on top and help build the, uh, um, build the business logic inside. Also allows you to, re to reuse your existing infrastructure. I won't have time to talk about the fact that your containers are privileged, device plugin, container runtime plugins, and user line libraries. These are all complexities that are added on top. Uh, but these are, um, this is the fundamental uh, logic. You can look out the uh, NVIDIA device uh, driver container at gitlab.com slash NVIDIA slash driver as an example. And in the future, we can also imagine that your drivers are going to be part of your container uh, if your container is a virtual machine. And so you could have both model inside your cluster. Thank you.